Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the sign of Capricorn. So if your ascendant rising sign or your moon sign is in Capricorn, this is the one you're going to listen to. But let me remind everyone, I am talking about the Vedic sidereal placements of the ascendant and the moon, not the tropical western. So if you are unaware of what your ascendant rising sign is in Vedic astrology, then you can go to my chart calculator where you can calculate and figure these out. So go to galacticcenter.org and go to my free chart calculator. Once you put in your information, scroll down to the very bottom where it will tell you exactly what your ascendant and moon is. Your moon will be MO and the ascendant is AS. Those are the two signs I want you to listen to. So if your ascendant rising sign or your moon sign sits in the sign of Capricorn, then this is a this has been a year and continuing on through the end of April of new learning. You are learning all sorts of new things and you're being much more creative. And I got to say, you've been doing a lot more traveling, probably the last six months of 2022 and all the way till the end of April. I see trips traveling, a lot of fast motion happening with movement. Now, it may not be long distance travels. It may be shorter trips, but you are still going places. This is more or less being in the car and driving those type of trips. Now, another thing is you can be going on longer trips, a lot of traveling, getting out and learning about different things in the world is basically what this is all about. And you are better able to communicate with other people like never before. New connections and communications. And most of all, you've got this great curiosity for learning new things all the way through till the end of April. Another thing is you might find that you'll be visiting or connecting more with some siblings, your brothers or sisters in your life. There's going to be many more connections and visits, and you will probably become closer. If the relationship's been stressed, then there's a healing. Something comes together with you and siblings. It will be a wonderful revival. I got to say this. And any of your talents or your skills that you've been wanting to develop, this is the time that you're developing your new skills. Maybe taking that piano class or maybe taking that art class or maybe that acting class. Anything that you've been wanting to do that you have innate skills with and interest, you're going to excel in during the first half of this year. Another thing is... It could be the time that you take up writing, learning how to write. This is a very interesting way of communicating, writing that book, writing those emails, and possibly even doing a blog, something where you connect to other people, but somehow connecting through the media with others. It can even be making those YouTube channel videos for yourself, all of this creative energy with, in terms of you communicating with others has been prominent and continues to be prominent for you. Now, before we get into April and throughout the following part of the year, you have been wanting to move. And yes, there is a great opportunity for changing your residence and moving. If you haven't already moved, then I guarantee you in, in this second part of the year, and particularly even the first, the whole year of 2023, is finding your new home, new residence, real estate. Or if, if you're happy with where you're living, you may find that it's time to redecorate or redo a room or renovate your property. It's a time for expansion with your home and making it right, making it more comfortable and more livable. Now, if your mother's still alive, you're going to find that the second part of the year, 
you're going to be closer to her. Maybe just talking on the phone or maybe visiting or she comes to stay with you but there will be a healing and a connection with the mother now if your mother's no longer here then you're going to find that you have vivid dreams and connections connecting you to your your mother but i gotta say that this is the year of you finding your happiness second part of the year is all about finding your happiness furthermore I get that you're finding a true sense of stability and security within your heart and soul. This is what the second part of this year will bring you. It is happiness. It is happiness through togetherness and through family. You're feeling secure about your emotions and things that have bothered you before. You're feeling a sense of connection and security, especially with family. Now, you are becoming a lot more serious about your financial situation. This is a time that you're investing your money into things that really matter this year. And you're more serious. You're actually probably pulling up the books and looking to see where all your money's been being spent. It's a time where you're probably going to have a rude awakening around tax time this year because it's heavy that, well, Saturn's transiting your second house. This is about finances and money and getting serious about where your money's going, where it's spent, but most of all, how you make your money. But how you, and not only that, how you hold on to it. But Saturn being here can also bring up issues that maybe have not been working out so well in the area of your family. Family issues are here for you to heal and to work on. And there may even be some calamity that comes up that you've got to face and confront someone in your family to make things right, to make things congruent, and to find your sense of security within your family. It might be a time that you have invested a lot of money into real estate and property, and therefore you're pretty much house poor during this, during this year. But it's okay, it's what you wanted, but you, you will be constrained or restricted from spending money elsewhere if you have jumped into finding your dream home. It's just the way it is. You, you have to allocate your money in a whole different way. But I think it's going to lead to a sense of good security financially this year through being more diligent and thoughtful and respectful of where your money's being spent, where it's going. And this will breed gains in the long run because Saturn is the planet that gives awards or rewards from hard work and diligence. So this will pay off incredibly. So yes, it's all about real estate, I think, this year in building. So with Capricorn, remember traveling, siblings, family, parents, and real estate are all an important issue for you. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like to learn Vedic Astrology, I have a stellar school, the fastest growing university to learn Vedic Astrology. Go to my website, become part of the new class that starts January 25th. A new semester is beginning in the university. Go to university avedicastrology.com and I will see you in class. Thank you.